That is seriously awesome. Not all heroes wear capes. In fact, some wave the terrible towel. Yeah, they do. Our next guest used her costume building skills to give the people of Pittsburgh their very own Iron Man. Please welcome <laughs> Shannon Rona. Hi, Shannon. Sh Shannon. <laughs> We're, my wife's from Pittsburgh, so a lot of Steeler gear all over the house right there. I, you, the thing I love about Pittsburgh, too, is all their sports teams, the Pirates, the Penguins, and the Steelers, they're all black and yellow. Yeah. So you can... Easy. Yeah, exactly. to keep it easy. Every city should be that way. So your Iron Man can kind of go with all the <laughs> uh, all the teams yeah. right there. How did this come about? How'd you? It's very impressive. How'd you build that? Thanks. Um... Well, it came about, so I'm actually just a huge Marvel fan in general. I'm a huge Robert Downey Jr. fan. Um, and just being a Pittsburgh sports fan, uh, you know, that's, like you said, the colors go together. So I was going to make my own suit, uh, just the standard red and gold version. And then I was actually um, online acquaintances with uh, Jimmy Rich, who was Robert Downey Jr.'s assistant, um, who was also a big Pittsburgh sports fan. Um, he would share from time to time these fan art photos of this concept, you know, the color scheme. Uh, so I just said, you know what, instead of the red and gold, I'm going to go ahead and do the black and gold and celebrate my love for the sports and Iron Man. Cool. Oh, Shannon, what's it like when you put that thing on? How does it feel? It's cool, you know, because, like, you're wearing a full suit of armor. How can it not be cool? But uh, honestly, though, like, people don't realize that it's a lot of pieces put together. Yeah. So the shoulders up here, they can be pretty heavy. There's limited uh, joint movement. But, you know, I do what I can because I really just want to make sure that when I'm meeting people, I still am able to portray that superhero feeling. And your your um, your Iron Man outfit has caught the attention of some celebs, too, Ooh. right? <laughs> um, yeah, I've gotten to go to a couple premieres, which is pretty fun. Um, and I've met some of the cast, uh, including Lexi Rave, who played Morgan Stark, uh, Iron Man's daughter in Avengers Endgame. FYI, if Team Downey wanted to adopt this, he was totally up for adoption in the future. <laughs> to work with another star. I <laughs> like that. What's the reaction yeah. you get from people when you're out in the suit? You know, it's incredible because I get stopped a lot. Um, if I'm just out in public, uh, the kids are the best part, though. Um, they're so excited just to see like superheroes and the flesh, you know. And and it's got functions too. I saw the little face mask yeah, lift up, up, and then the the chest armor is interchangeable too, right? Yeah. So the helmet itself, um, it is wireless. So there's a button in the chin. Um, so it's mm. pretty straightforward. Ooh. Like there you and go. Shannon, what's it like to fly in that thing? I know you fly all over. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> She's working on that. I it, like that. Is there, another super, <laughs> is there another superhero costume you'd like to create next? Uh, so my next project is probably going to be Wasp um, from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yes. Yeah. Gonna, I'm going to go for the helmet and the wings and everything. So hopefully oh, wow. it works out. Well, Shannon, we love getting to talk to you today. We will follow that. Come back with your new costume and keep making people smile and inspire. Nice to meet Take you. Take care, Shannon. You can check out Shannon on her Instagram page for all of the info. We'll be right back.